What is up guys, I am Jordan or JKE390, and today I'm going to take a look at a game called Chroma Squad. Like Westerado, it is another game that I got from our friend Scott Dog Gaming, and from what I gather, it is, as you see here, a tactical RPG. Um, but it's a tactics-based game, but it's based on the idea of, like, Super Sentai or Power Rangers, like that type of series. And for anybody that knows me, I'm just going to go casual, because this is a, a, a looking at this game to see what it's like. But for those of you that know me, know that tactics games I love. Once upon a time, at a TV studio just like any other. And I was also a big fan of Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin was one of my all-time favorite shows when I was like seven years old. So I'm excited, to say the least. Super Rangers, it's time for all stuntmen to get in the scene. Hurry up. Okay, so the director's yelling at us. So the idea, I guess, is we're making a Power Rangers type episode. And where are the minions? Uh, but it's tactics based, which is actually pretty cool. There we go, we're all set for this part. Effects will come later. We are in fact lacking some story. Red Ranger's right. Dr. Soap doesn't enjoy it that much. Oh, okay. Getting really boring, I'm kind of tired of... Stop talking, we're recording. Or while we're recording. Battle them or should I remind you? That you may click to either walk or choose monsters you want to attack. Alright, so I just gotta defeat three enemies, which should be fairly simple. Guess the yellow ranger's going first. The yellow super ranger. Um, hmm. I wanna kill them all. I mean, it's only fair that each ranger gets at least one to kill, right? Oh, okay. So it, there's no ranged attack, I guess. That's cool. Is there a... Hmm. I need to see if there's a team attack. Because I feel like there'd be a type of thing... Because even here, teamwork. Oh, that's actually a button. Combined actions between squad members use teamwork with character. Then use him as a trampoline to move further. Okay. Or attack adjacent target. Ah, uh, that seems to be fine for now. Oh, he still has to move. Yeah, there's no range. I'll just go ahead and move this ranger up. Oh, uh, okay, I thought that was my new turn. Oh crap, he knocked me back. And then said Grar. Oh. Um. Let's get on the line. I'm gonna do much better than kill three enemies. It only makes sense that the Red Ranger gets to kill the most people. Ta da! This was one of the best episodes I've seen so far this season! Psst. He's always says that as long as we're defeating the monsters really easily. Yeah. I, wow, he's got pretty good hearing. I guess they probably have mics or something. Now I want some acrobatics. We can add some explosions to them later. Jeez. You should use the teamwork when- oh, okay, so here we go. Maneuver to toss people around so they can move further. I was hoping there'd be like, uh, in the Power Rangers, they always had this cool attack where they'd get together and they'd all make a big weapon out of their smaller weapons. Like, they'd take a sword, a bow, an axe, and whatever, and turn it into a gun. That was what I meant by teamwork, but this works too. If you still don't get a word I said... Use teamwork and then click on the... Okay, so the yellow cells. Alright, so yeah, the, the team works didn't move, work anywhere like what I was expecting. So 
So I do this. Chroma power. Ah, yeah. Oh, why don't I get to see it? <laughs> there we go. You are strong. Explended. Now for the grand finale. The huge monster's explosion. No! Oh, I think they just killed that guy. Yeah, where is the giant robot fight? The actors just sit in the chairs. We stuntmen do most of the recording. Oh, is that who those guys are? Besides, it's so silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside, see different places. Come on, people. Our show's not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we run our very own studio? Oh my. That's just a perfect idea. Count me in. It does have the power interesting, but everyone has to say something. What? Are you leaving, Super Rangers? I'm in too. Let's do this. Have fun leading a studio that isn't fun to work at, Dr. Soap. You tell him, Red Ranger. Bye bye Dr. Soap. Oh, and please stop being so mean to your employees. And he's yelling you can't. Oh, so I get the whole city to play in now? Oh, I thought the whole thing was going to take place in the green screen type of room. Stuntmen met a moment later, still dressed in their old studio spandex suits. Talked about how they could start their own studio and record their first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped up. My uncle has a warehouse not far from here. We could use it. All right. We, that could be a start. Might just be what we need. Let's go there now. Can we use that mech right there? Arriving at the warehouse, everyone got very excited because of its size. Is that a tree? What is that? And how could they take advantage of all the available space? They were looking around, thinking about camera positions. Uh, I'd probably get one up there on that rail. Get some cool fight scenes going down the stairs. When someone spotted something. Oh, it's a pillar. A huge pillar at the very center of the warehouse, covered in some sort of dirty bedsheet. No one knew what was under it. Oh, is that the uncle? Oh, no, it's the director. Where are those stun actors? Oh, there they are. They need to return to my, my studio spandex suits. But wait, what is that? I'll just keep watching. Then Curiosity knocked at someone's door and the sheet was removed. Amazing, an incredible, or an incredible replica of the device in an American Hero TV series. Someone plugged, plugged in the energy cable, and the machine said its welcome message out loud. I'm getting that point where I start becoming dyslexic. Hello, my name is Cerebro. This is an example message. Oh, so it's like Zordon. Type the words in my back display, and I shall text to speech them. Everyone's eyes shined. Whoa! Let them have those clothes. I know exactly what I want from them now. I'll think of some devious plan. I'm out. We were just looking for a place to set up our studio and record, but... Now we also have Cerebro Thing to support our story. It's amazing! Yes, this is it. Just ask your uncle for this, too. Our, or too. our future fans will love it. Will do. I think he'll be happy to lend us anything, including the warehouse. Hooray! Everyone, gather your props at home. Let's meet up tomorrow. We have plenty of work to do. So the group of friends decided to take a different path in their lives. Later that day, the clothes were returned to their old boss. And after a few weeks with the contract ready to be signed, they finally have everything ready to start recording. We have a contract for $1,000 to record a season finale after recording four other episodes. The contract will be canceled if the number of fans is lower than zero. Uh, is that the only... I guess I'll sign it. There's nothing else I can do. Choose the name of your studio? Uh, yes. 
Uh, true for industries. Yes. Okay. The leader of your squad, taking responsibility for the group, always acting. Ah, uh, uh, this is cool. I mean, so it can be me, the leader of TFG. And then, uh, so the leader of your squad, taking responsibility for the group and always acting honorably. This role specializes in protecting and inspiring the rest of the team. So it can be Dude Lee, Evan Tai, Gus Foon, Michael Florian, Mika, uh, yeah, the robot, Ryu Yoshi, Telemila, I guess, hopefully. Wesley Stripes. An alien. Von Andy. Uh, Antitonic. Ashley Smith. Mr. Beaver. Dude Lee again. Well, this one seems to be the most that looks like me. Assault. Brings raw power and strength to your team's strategy. This role is responsible for dealing with great damage and exploding things and wielding enormous axe. Well, that sounds like Kirk to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him blue. And, uh... You know what? There we go. There's Kirk. Techie. The team's most resourceful fighter, combining the use of items weapons with superior intellect, specialized in long-range combat through skill. Well, that's gotta be Kevin. So there's the three founders of TFG right there. And... I mean, Dude Lee kind of looks like Kevin, I guess. The scout and the assist. Well, the agile acrobat of the team, a daredevil warrior that brings movement and grace to the fight, specializes in moving fast and stunning enemies. Well, that sounds like Kyle. Uh, perfect, right there. And actually, he's already the right color. Gold. And then the assist will just have to be Ricardo, our artist. Pink's already the right color. Um, but the dearest friend of everyone on the team, always optimistic and holding the squad together through its toughest moments. Healing and bow attacks. Oh, we're already a beaver. Per no, uh, Ricardo. Ricardo. Oh, there! Perfect! And don't worry, I'm gonna actually go back and name everyone now. This is gonna be the greatest Power Rangers ever. Continue. Your game has been saved. Okay, so we got our actors, right? That's the same thing? Yes. Okay, so he's got it done. Some of them don't even have weapons yet. That's okay. I figured my attacker would, though. That's a little strange. It's fine. It's fine. So we're going to go back, studio, see what that's got for us. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get anything yet. I don't, I'm just going to go back. We're just, I guess, going to hit record. The pilot episode for your very own series. Today, True for Industries will deal with a new threat that appeared near Science Lab. Maximum audience, 2800, location, warehouse of Kevin's uncle. Director's instructions, so perform three team acrobatics and keep all actors above 50% health. Hello, hello, how are you all doing? My name is Hermes Bar uh, Barreto. I'm a master of crafting props, the movies and TV, blah, blah, blah. Some of my wares even have special bonuses. Make sure to visit my shop by clicking on the button on the left. Have fun. Uh, guess I guess. All right, record. Start. All right, so we can't do an it's morphing time. That's okay by me. Oh, uh, Ricardo can't move very far, can he? It's alright. Oh, wait, can you hit him from here? Oh. Well. In that case... Team attack! Uh... Yes. I'll use my sword, right? Oh, I didn't... Cool. Cool teamwork, guys. Uh... Fair enough? 
Kyle can luckily do it. Oh crap, he's hit some a bunch. I just figured it'd be, you know, a hit. Oh, now he can jump off of him. Cool. Sweet attack. Are they not gonna fight? They're just gonna stand by me? That must be the whole casual thing I did. It's okay, that or they're gonna do a horrible crit to Kyle. We can't let that happen. Um, teamwork. 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 Chroma power. Okay, that seemed unnecessary. But I do think it was funnier that way. I like the idea of uh chroma design. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. It's morphin' time! Lights, camera, chromatize. Awesome. I approve. Oh wait, I'm supposed to do team stuff, aren't I? Oh, he's got his pistol and stuff now. Hmm. It's teamwork. Have Ricardo do a sick jump off of him. And then into... Hildukin. So it's a Hadouken that heals people, that's pretty awesome. Just, just this way. I might as well have you hit this guy. Oh, I didn't finish him. Well... Luckily, I can still jump off of him and do this. I guess I need to keep doing that, right? And then, uh... The eagle lasso pulling me four tile. Wow. It'd be like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Attack with the sword. Yeah. After defeating the powerful aliens, while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appeared. Is it the director? Oh, it's a wizard with a stoplight. That's an amazing entrance. Uh, what is it? Transit Mancer? <laughs> the Transit Mancer. I get it. This will be a or this will be great. Keep it up. Chroma Squad, why did you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now. I'll come for you later. What were you doing in the lab? It's none of your business. Wow. Who is that tra traffic light guy, and where did he go? Wait. Kirk, are you acting, or are you really lost right now? <laughs> it sounds like Kirk. Oh, come on, Kyle, I'm acting. Go on with the story. Uh, okay, well, I don't know, Kirk, and I, er, Kirk and I can track it with my scanner. That monster may strike again any minute now. Cerebro might have something to say. You're right, Ricardo. We should go see Cerebro. Cerebro. Chroma Squad heads to Cerebro's chambers. They reach the place with the glorious teleporter or with glorious teleport effect. Wow, Kevin, I didn't expect that you could render such a cool background with the chroma key. Me, ni me neither. This one looks much better than the one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains the situation to Cerebro... Why do they want to research data so badly, Cerebro? They believe it's key for them to unlock power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now return to your previous location. I'm detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see Cerebro device working. I feel like we're trapped in the actual like world now and it's not just a show. 
Chroma Squad heads back. The teleport effect is not ready yet. To the scene running. Okay, so they just run in. Where are the monsters? Can't wait to use my special pose. <laughs> I'm late. How deep are we into the episode? So is that the actual monster that we're supposed to fight? Deep enough. You are so late, boxing box. <laughs> this won't happen again, I'm sorry. Back to our lines then. I'll turn you into cardboard. Don't get me wrong, Kirk. I'm cardboard. Minions, join me! We're gonna get more nutcrackers? Oh, okay, yeah, so those are just normal enemies. Ready to serve, boss. Watch out. Okay, defeat the monster with a finishing move. That's easy. Defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Okay, that's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot him. Wow. Move him up to here. Oh, crap, he can't reach that far, can he? Oh. Well, that's okay, I can. So I'll just do this. And then... Ah. If only. Oh well. The boxing box will probably hurt Kyle quite a bit here, but... That is okay. Oh, so I can still jump off of it. Okay, yeah, it wouldn't let me do the hit, though. Um, you don't have to wait an extra turn anyway. Because I need to be able to surround the box and get our team attacks in. Alright, I'll move me up to here. And for... I need as close as possible. There we go. And I'll just... Uh, start surrounding him, I guess. Super punch. Oh, crap. Oh, don't tell me he's stunned for a turn. <laughs> Dick. Well... Might as well pin him into place. Get him where we, where he can't escape. Nope. Don't don't attack. Okay. Uh, if I put him teamwork now. Will they be there for the next turn? No. Okay. Cool. I really hope this counts as being <laughs> being able to hit him. Ah, oh, that's doo-doo. Oh well, well, let's keep him trapped here as long as he doesn't super punch. No, don't counter. Okay. Now it's time. Kurt gets to initiate it this time. Chroma power! Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. I got an achievement there, too. Ah, I've been recycled! But what about the transmancer, or transit mancer? I keep wanting to call him the Transistor. <laughs> Monsters always come back when they fail. Their first try will show up soon enough, Kyle. Wow, when they fail in their first try. And when it comes back, we will be there to stop it. To be continued. 
Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash in the community. And I believe that is where we are going to call it. I think it was a pretty fun game, if I do say so myself. If you guys would like to see more of this game, just let me know down in the comments below. I'll be honest, I'm probably going to play more of it regardless. Well, I know I'm going to play it regardless, but I'm sure I'll end up recording it as well, just, as a, just in case. But I would still appreciate you guys letting me know what you thought. And with that, I'm going to conclude this video. So, I'm Jordan, or JKU390. And until next time, everybody, later.